Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a simple linear regression model in R. So, uh, before we start, let's take a remind ourselves of what linear regression is all about. So, I have a diagram here which I'm going to open. And if there's two parts of this diagram, we have a linear regression formula here on the left-hand side. And over on the right-hand side, we have a diagram. So I'm going to read in some data for fictitious sales and revenue data from a data file. And this is what it looks like plotted in Excel. We can see that there's a pretty strong relationship between a revenue and sales. So as the sales increase, so does revenue, as we might expect. What we'd like to be able to do is, I've added a trend line here in black. Uh, I'd like to be able to use this information then. So for example, if I wanted to know if I had sales of 4,000, what would the corresponding revenue be? So I need to know uh, values in that line. So don't forget this is simple machine learning. And I want to be able to use the regression formula that you see here on the left-hand side. So quick reminder of what regression is, formula is all about. We have y, which is a dependent variable. So that's the one we want to predict. That's revenue in our case here. So that's on the y-axis. And then the value a is the y-intercept. And that simply is if this black line continued, where on the y-axis would it cross? So we're not allowed to uh, go b below the minimum or above the maximum value here, but if that line increased, continued to go, uh, where would it cross the y-intercept that we put that value in the formula? And then that's plus b times x. b is the slope of the line, the black line that you see here. So for every uh, unit increase in sales, what would the corresponding revenue be in our example? And finally, x here is the independent variable. So that's the value on the x-axis. So for example, if I wanted to find out uh, uh, um, what revenue would be from 4,000 sales, uh, 4,000 would be the value for my independent variable. So let's take a look then at some data that we're going to use here. The data file I'm going to use is called 80datafile.csv. Uh, this file, don't forget, plus the diagram and all R scripts used in this series of videos are available in my GitHub. You'll find a link to that in the information section beneath this video on the YouTube page. So let's read in this uh, data set and display the results. Now this is fictitious data that I've made up for this video. And you can see we have 10 records and, and so the last two columns are the columns of interest. I want to see um, is the relationship between sales and revenue because if that's a strong relationship, then I can use a model to predict revenue based on a sales value. So to, to test the uh, level of relationship between the two, I want to calculate Pearson's correlation coefficient. So that's using the COR function. I'm going to use my two variables, sales data, dollar sign sales first, comma, sales data again, dollar sign revenue. So this then will calculate the Pearson correlation coefficient for uh, the, to measure the strength of the relationship between sales and revenue. So let's run that. And we can see in the console that we get a, a very high value. So there's a very strong positive correlation of 0.959. Um, that's almost a, the maximum value of one. So that indicates that we have a good strong relationship between sales and revenue, as we might expect in this example. But this means then that uh, it, we should be able to create a very strong, accurate model to predict revenue based on a sales value. I also want to use, uh, let's visualize this. So I'm going to use the plot function to again, just plot sales data dollar sign sales versus sales data dollar sign revenue. So let me uh, check the code and run. And over on the right hand side, if I expand this a little bit here, you can see that linearly there's a very strong relationship between sales and revenue. So as sales increase, so does the revenue. Now you can see it's not an entirely accurate line. Uh, this is similar to the one we saw in the diagram in a moment, uh, in that not all the dots are on a straight line. So it's not a perfect relationship, um, but nevertheless, with a correlation coefficient value of 0.959, that tells us that we can generate a very good model. So let's now go ahead and do this. And the model that I'm going to use is the uh, function I'm going to use is the LM function. So if I go to the help screen, and enter LM, LM in the search, LM stands for linear model, we can see uh, some descriptions and usage and some arguments and examples and so on uh, provided by RStudio to show us uh, more information about the LM function. So if you have not used this function before, it's always a good idea to check this out in the help section. So I'm going to use the LM function to perform the linear regression. So I need to create a new model and I'm going to call my model sales model, use the assignment operator, and then assign it using the LM function. Now there's two things I need to insert in the LM function at minimum in order for it to work. 
What I want to do here is I want to regress, regress the dependent variable on the independent variable. So in my case here, I want to regress revenue on sales. So I want to put in my uh, revenue data. Note I'm not using sales data dollar sign revenue here. And then the symbol to use is the, what's called the tilde symbol. On my Windows uh, laptop, it is the key over the hashtag. So shift hashtag will give you the tilde symbol. That's spelled T-I-L-D-E. Then the sales variable, which is my independent variable, a comma, and then we need to tell the LM function what the data set is. So that's just simply the sales data da data set. So my, I'm going to create a new model called sales model using the assignment operator and the LM function. I'm going to regress the dependent variable, which is revenue, on the independent variable, which is sales, and I'm telling it to use the sales data data set. So let's run that and see what our output's going to be by just typing out the name of the model. Run this, and we get some interesting information here on the bottom of the console. Uh, R replicates the uh, function that we have just typed in, so just to t so that we can be reassured what we can see. And then there's two inter interesting values in here. We've got an intercept value of 5478.75, and we have a, sa a sales value here of 5.75. That's the slope of our line. So if I go back and look at our diagram here again, and just move it over here to the right-hand side, those values there, so the y-intercept value is 5478.75. So if this black line on my diagram continued, it would cross the y-axis at a value of 5478.75. And then the slope of that line has a value of 5.78. So B, the value here, is um, 5.75. So for every, every single increase of sales, so every unit sale generates a 5.75. So that might be $5.75 or euro in your case. So what I'm going to do then is just to uh, finish this video off by just showing uh, what my actual linear model looks like. So it's going to be my y value, which is my um, dependent variable, sales revenue in my case here, is equal to 5478.75, so that's the first value from my output, plus, and just to, I'm going to put brackets here to indicate precedence, 5.75 multiplied by, using the asterisk symbol, x. So for whatever value I can now, for example, if I wanted to um, get a value of x of 4,000, I can work out this and generate a predicted value for y. So that's how you create a simple linear regression model in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.